But I've decided, you see, that I've cleared this bit of floor space. I've made this box here. And this box, I'm keeping all the parts in for the, uh, some kind of mushroom. I, I worked in a mushroom farm, you know, at about the time this, uh, this was current. I was working uh, weekends at a mushroom farm. The first few times I visited this some kind of mushroom shop. And uh, this whole idea of, of uh, the mushrooms, these creating these changes in, uh, in space, isn't it? Uh, that's Alice in Wonderland. And she bites one side of the mushroom to, to uh, make make herself big, and another si side to make herself little. And uh, I don't know if there's elements of time travel in Alice in Wonderland, but uh, certainly, I was talking about music and memory. Certainly, sort of trying to reconstruct the uh, records that are in this window from uh, little blurry pictures. That's been interesting. Because, uh, you know, I just like to, you know, get into the mood of things by, like, playing the music and getting to handle it. So I've, I've done a bit of shopping and I've since bought a copy of Omadorn, this, uh, what's it called, Tubular Bells guy. It was a follow-up to Tubular Bells. It's not as good as Tubular Bells. But uh, I think Tubular Bells have been overplayed, really. Anyway, it just got played to death, that record, and made far too much money for Richard Branson. Uh, and uh, what went here was uh, Ziggy Stardust. Now, Ziggy Stardust, the sleeve to that, has got this really, um, what's the word, um, enhanced colour, the, the, the colour palette and that would actually work very well on this model. Mm. So these uh, drawings in, in the window, I'm going to make some little transfers of these, but I, I need to make them more like the original paintings. I sort of, these are a bit too detailed really. I think the original paintings were a bit more sort of blobbier and uh, directly painted than these. So I'm going to make a load of transfers for these windows, but I've roughed it out, you see, in uh, crappy cardboard and uh, masking tape, just to get an idea of the scale of the thing. And then I've made a box for it to go in while I'm making it. I might make another box to keep the bits in, I don't know. Well then, while I do that, I can just put it on the shelf over there, you see. So there's a shelf where this camera is. But, I hit to sort of a quandary, making a larger scale model, this one uh, of, of Carlton Mansions in Brixton. Which is quite pertinent at the moment, because they've uh, just finished doing the painting, and they, they've got, um, they'll be doing a big opening this summer, I guess, when, uh, when we're doing the new normal, for the new mural. And uh, next to here, what used to be Fungus Park, this sort of manky grass with all sorts of litter and stuff on it, that's uh, now a theatre complex. It was going to be called the Oval Theatre, I think it's going to be called the Brixton Theatre now. People in Brixton will know better than me. And this is the old wall that uh, used to be at the front of Carter Mansions. But I bet that's not there anymore. Uh, but the thing is, this version I've got here, I've just got parts of it. I've just got the mural part and the, some of the grass that goes around it. The actual um, facade of it, I've got in the loft. But I think I've put it all together and uh, now I've cleared a bit more space in, in this shed. Put it all together and uh, work on it that way. I think I need to do that, yeah. <laughs> 